Now, what Scott is going to do now is he's going to slip my jab and he's going to throw a right hook and then he's going to run with the rest of the techniques of the alternating masons. It looks like this, okay? I'm facing him here. I'm going to throw a left jab. He's going to slip it and immediately he'll throw the right hook bang to the body. You see that? Okay? Now he sees the opportunity. See where his left hand is? See the opportunity for the alternating masons. This will be a left a left thrust punch which will slide along the line of my, there you go, slide along the line of my slipped left uh, jab. Immediately after that, I push the mitt down, he throws a right back knuckle, bing. Okay, I push this mitt down, he then throws a left hammer fist clear, which sets my face and my body up for the right thrust punch. There you go, left back knuckle right here, bing, and then the right hammer fist clear, in which point, at this point, he will recover, come back to his fighting stance. This particular aspect of the drill is done. Okay, now what we'll look at next is okay what happens if if uh if he just if he does a simultaneous block and slip a lot of people ask me about that well how do you, what do you do well if you practice it you'll see it and this is how it looks like okay i'm gonna throw the left jab and instead of the traditional left inside block scott is going to execute the left outside block and just run the alternating maces again he's going to slip and left outside block bang right thrust punch boom left back knuckle bing right hammer fist clear you see how simple that is thrust back knuckle and then two. you see that you see that and come back to his fighting stance you see that okay that's how you want to drill this particular technique okay now those of you i know you're going to ask me this question yes scott trains in wing chun okay so that's where the techniques come from okay but there is a distinct similarity in in, in, in kempo and wing chun it's, it's to such a degree that that one can can flow from one directly to the other uh, this is the first time I've ever drilled with, with Scott, and he's already doing well. So this tells you not only is something about his ability, but also the similarity of the systems, and also my ability to translate the, this, this similarity into, into training drills, so it doesn't matter what discipline you come from. You know, again, it's not just what you know, it's how you train, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do here, and I get this a lot, well, what if the guy tries to knee you? Well, we're going to do the lower block from Kempo, the very, one of the techniques that everybody you know, disparages, but then uses in a fight, but won't give, won't call it a lower block, okay? So, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna use my right leg so the camera can catch it better. I'm gonna throw a right knee, Muay Thai style after I duck that fly. You know, right? <laughs> That's how fly I am, okay? Okay, I'm gonna throw this right knee at Scott's uh, midsection. He's gonna block it with his left, left hand. Now, I already know what you guys are gonna say. He blocks with his left hand, how come, why won't I just throw that? That's what happens. That's what happens. The answer is, okay, well, you can fake here and throw the skull to Superman punch. You'll block right there and you'll catch what they don't teach you exactly. You'll catch what they don't teach you. Now, one of the things that a lot of people don't, because you don't you don't train this way, you're thinking of MMA type rules. What, what we do in the alter, in, in, using the alternating animations and the taxi gym, we're gonna get into it in just one moment. And you got to see me do this many times in the videos already, is we'll, we'll insert a groin right here. Okay, so you throw the right knee, and then come with the Superman punch. You block it, block it, bam! You block it with his right hand like he did before. Throw a left hand, left low, right block here. Now left back knuckle is going, bam! Right that, and then here comes the rest of the alternate maces. Right thrust punch, right thrust punch, left back knuckle, right hammer fist clear. There you go, boom! Back, bam, and bam. There you go. Now this is this is what will happen in the street. You never see this in the in the the ring or the cage because it's against the rules. In the street, we only have one rule: go home safe. Okay, so uh, you've seen me execute this technique several times already in our iteration of, that, of the, the attacking maces. Here it is again, okay? Now, the other famous thing I keep hearing about, questions we hear about, and you can practice exactly like this using the mitts, is from off of the clinch. Yeah, he's, what if he knows more Thai, okay? And we're throwing knees and elbows here. Well, we just already defended the knees before. We block and you're gonna catch it. The catch it immediately. See, look, let me turn this way so you can see this a bit more. Okay? When I throw, when I throw the left knee, because the hands on the inside, all he has to do is simply fire the left hand and hit me, in the, I mean, the right hand in the face and run the, run the ultimates. Bam, right here. There'll be a left back knuckle to the groin. Left back knuckle to the groin. Bang. There you go. Right thrust punch. Right thrust punch. Bam, again. Now we're going to, there you go. Bang, right back knuckle clear. There you go. The thrust punch. Boom, right here. Back knuckle. Boom. Left hand clear. Bing, he's done. Okay? Now, what happens if you're pummeling in, 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 the, in the clinch? You will see that as you're pummeling. You'll see this more in the, in the DVD. I go into it, but it's exactly like what you've already been taught. You, you, you're scrambling. You're going with the flow. And the moment you see that line of opportunity to attack, where you catch him using your timing and your rhythm and your energy and your motion, you just strike him with this. 
the huge advantage is that 95% of the people who you're fighting with are not familiar with these with these techniques, of these these stratagems, these trajectories. But you are. You will be, especially if you pick up the DVDs that I'm putting out, or if you watch these YouTube videos. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. This is the alternating maces, the 360 degree circle of protection, which is one of the other basic methods that we use to teaching the alternating maces here at the attacks gym. This is a self-defense oriented drill, meaning that you're standing and you're going to face your opponent who's going to attack you in each one of the the areas of that that comprise the you know a 360 degree circle around you for the for the purposes of this YouTube video I'm going to only hit four areas in front of you to your both flanks and the rear Scott is going to play the role of our victim who's going to turn the tables on the on the attacker who's me and as far as Jim Parlance is concerned I'm the coach he'll be the student this is how you teach the skill set okay all right, what's gonna happen now? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and do the, the classical uh, attack where I'm standing in front of him for the purpose of this camera. I'm gonna turn to the side. You guys are already familiar with this particular technique. We go through and run it this way, slip, slip, bottom, we run all that good stuff. Okay, great. Okay, now we're gonna do this interest that's gonna be different. We're gonna introduce this difference is that now he's gonna be facing the camera and I'm gonna attack him from the flank. He's not even gonna look at me. He's gonna have to respond to the attack that I throw. Now, there are times where I'll land the attacks. There are times where I may miss. Regardless, he will have to adapt to the situation. This is similar to what he'd be facing on the street. Adaptability and, and applying the skill set, okay? So, and this, for ease of, of reference, we're gonna use the two-hand push, which is the traditional method uh, of attack for the attacking mace, okay? So, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna try to push uh, Scott from the side. He's gonna defend with whatever block he has or whatever whatever parry or head move or whatever that comes from the white belt levels of Kempo and the basic uh, techniques of, of boxing, okay? And then he's gonna run the alternating mace directly after this. So I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna try to push him. I catch him this time. Now he's gonna turn and face me because here's the attack, okay? Okay? Now he's giving me a space. You guys have seen this happen before. I'll throw a punch at him. He'll block it or slip it. Now he's blocked it. Bam, punch it. Run an alternation. Bing, bing, there you go. Rush, back knuckle, and then clear. There you go. That's it. The right comes reset. Face the camera. Face the camera. Right now, the attack is going to come from the other side. See? <clears throat> what you guys saw right there was unrehearsed. All right? It's only like the third time he's ever seen alternating maces ever. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, but this is much more much more realistic and it's in it is a much more realistic look this is the reason why I selected it all right I could have selected my brothers with black belts I wanted someone who would give you a more realistic look okay so I'm gonna try to push him again get a block there you go boom punch back knuckle and then have to get clear okay so right now slow it down slow it down slow it down all right put your hand out there right there on that one okay okay all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push him He's gonna block or get pushed or whatever it is. And he's gonna immediately counter with a thrust punch, back knuckle and a hammer fist clear, okay? And then he's gonna throw it, and notice, he's gonna hit whatever's open. If, if in the process of me pushing him, he blocks it, it's open, he's gonna fire to whatever's open. I have to, as a coach, I have to see where he's coming and need to fire the throw with the, with the mitt. And now I'm watching him, all right? And I know where this mitt is right here. I'm calling for the next punch, he's coming with the hammer fist. Bam, see that? You can also throw the back knuckle to the floor there too. As you guys know from previous videos, I've done both. Bam, right here. Bam, that's no fun for him. He immediately comes back with a thrust punch right here. Boom, that's him come with the hammer fist clear. Bam, there you go. Then he's gonna run the other side now. Thrust punch, back knuckle, hammer fist clear. Drill is done, so it face the camera. Okay, there you go. The next attack is coming from the behind, coming from the rear. Okay, here comes the push. Outside block. Watch that. Watch that. Let's turn this way. Turn this way. Very good. Very good. I hope you guys can see that. You know, when I push him, Scott immediately pivoted and blocked with a clearing outside block, which is a white belt technique. Okay? He then cleared all the way, step my hand down, and fired immediately the right thrust punch, which runs right into the breast of the alternate mix. Bang. Boom. Right here. Boom. And then boom. Right there. He's going to fight. He stands facing the camera. Okay?